So the 8K processes are fundamental measurements and checks for, for patients. So every patient with diabetes should have them. And they're designed essentially to minimise the impact of diabetes on individuals and also to uh, gauge how at high risk they are in individuals. So that ranges from basic glucose measurement, which would be a HbA1c or glycated haemoglobin, uh, blood pressure and cholesterol checks, and we know those two parameters are very important in terms of prevention of heart disease, stroke, peripheral vascular disease, an annual foot examination to see who's at high risk of developing foot-related problems. We still have a major issue with amputations, minor and major amputations in this country, and a lot of those are preventable by good uh, foot examination and risk stratification. Uh, checking uh, urine albumin to looking for early signs of kidney damage. We can pick that up much earlier now. There are things we can do to prevent it progressing. Indeed, we're involved in trials to regress kidney disease uh, in, in some centres. Uh, and that's a urine test. We know that early kidney failure is still, uh, or diabetes is still the commonest cause of early kidney failure. Uh, in people in this country and, and a lot of that is preventable with medications and uh, good care essentially. Then there's BMI measurement, so uh, measurement of, of body fat and we know that most patients who have type 2 diabetes will either be overweight or clinically obese uh, and uh, there are treatments available that uh, address not only glucose reduction but also weight uh, and it's a good marker for patients to have a target in terms of weight reduction. Smoking status is obvious. We know most patients are still succumbing to cardiovascular disease and therefore recording and trying to modify people's smoking habits is, is of paramount importance. Uh, and lastly, a measure of kidney function, or EGFR or serum creatinine, is really important to track uh, you, with your patients once a year. And it's it really I, I can't understand why, whether patients have all these processes or don't have all these processes. There is such variation between practices, individuals and areas. And if we can standardise care, if everybody knows what these eight care processes are, the challenge is that some of them have come off in terms of the quality album framework list, things like retinal screening and urine albumin testing, so it makes it harder for practices and individuals to remember these. So we, we need to really develop uh, alerts, pop-ups, reminders that these are the basic uh, parameters and measurements that every patient with diabetes should have to hopefully prevent them developing complications in the future. So in summary, I think all practices and all practitioners should make sure that they remember the eight care processes. So do you remember what the eight care processes are? for patients with diabetes.